Hello my juicy co-creators, Lilu here on the Juicy Living Tour. Today I'm in Amsterdam, beautiful, actually rainy Amsterdam in Holland with Wim. I am so excited to meet you in person. You're quite an international phenomenon, huh? Yeah, as they say, it's uh, beginning to bloom up. Um, the thing is, um, yeah, you know, uh, people uh, know me as the Iceman, but uh, I'm not so cold. <laughs> I'm looking really forward to this conversation because you're showing what human beings are capable of. You're an example of, and it's really, really, it's not even quite, it's really exciting to have you here and to talk about how you get there and what's possible for human. You're kind of a superhuman or how do would you describe yourself? Is this normal or quite very unique right now? It uh, looks like super and uh, it is super if you feel like that and your ability is to be able, you know, to stand like two hours in the freezing cold uh, uh, up, uh, you know, uh, ice water up till here or uh, climb Mount Everest in shorts or run a marathon in Lapland in uh, midwinter. Uh, just in short, I mean, that's feeling super, uh, uh, that more than normal. That's super. But I... I, I do not only think, I'm sure everybody is able to do that. Yeah. What does it require to, to get to that level? I, I really want to get in the power of the mind and the power of the heart with you. and Because it's, it's quite fantastic. We're only starting to discover what we're capable of. And when I meet human beings like you, we're all like, wow. Yeah, it, uh, it's all mystified what, what people are actually capable of. But I'm demystifying it all by going to the uh, science and uh, to the universities and showing, uh, uh, instructing a group of people in a comparative study and uh, just show them, say, in uh, one or two days. And they show then afterwards by blood results. I mean, there is no speculation about that. There is no mi mi mystifying uh, 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 part in it. It is all results. And it shows people are able to g tap in to the autonomic nervous system. That related to the immune system means we are going to look completely different to what disease is all about and what diseases, how diseases brought into the body. We are able to far more deeply control our physiology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so what, does, what are the implications of this long term? Are we immortal, really, in the end? I mean, how, what is this body? What is reality? I mean, this is changing everything, then. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in basically, we are beings who are able to control within their happiness, health, and strength. So, if you got that, then what do you want more? So, I, I, I'm showing this scientifically by very clear results in relationship with the immune system, the autonomic nervous system, which uh, are up till shortly, wasn't uh, we uh, scientifically written down? We were not as humans. We were not able to control this, but now we are because we just proved it three months ago, and we published in Nature and in uh, Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences. These are the highest uh, authorities within the scientific uh, medical uh, magazines in the world. And uh, we showed it by, uh, uh, by results, and just in a couple of days. So uh, we de demystify the, 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 the ability to go and to tap in deeply into the physiology, enabling people to control their hormonal system, the cardiovascular system, autonomic nervous system, immune system. This is all science. But if you look shortly to it, we actually are able to control our lives being happy, strong, and healthy. Does it start, where does this journey start? How did it start it for you? What was the first step? Because it seems like you've done a lot of studies since then and a lot of experiment and, and, and train and starting to train people now and proving it. But how does it start for all of us? Um, uh, yeah, uh, I got all uh, of these programs now based on uh, science, uh, where did it start for me? Uh, I was born uh, traumatically. 
uh, as a part of twins. They never knew there was a second one. So actually, I was born far too late, almost suffocated, and uh, was born in a, in a cold hole just before the operation uh, room uh, 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 and forced by my mother to get up because they were to, uh, 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 were to cut her uh -huh. and then get the baby got out because he was too deeply into the hump. And uh, so I almost suffocated and I was born in a, uh, in a cold hole. So uh, that was a trauma. Meanwhile, my mother, being very religious, she was afraid being cut in. And she prayed, oh God, let this child live. I will make him a missionary. But, you know, really afraid, in pain, yeah. labor. That's a different consciousness. This is the way it all began. And this made a, 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 a psychic imprint deeply into my system. And as a baby, you have no reference. You are just changed inside. And that made me d being different from my twin brother. And when I was 17... I began uh, uh, to be in contact with cold water, which brought about a trauma from the birth. And it made me feel good. But it had also this deep understanding, which then began, and uh, of the physiology of how to go to the, uh, deep, which we nobody is doing that anymore. So nobody knows anymore. We're so, going outside. We're going yeah. for answers outside or medicines or... Yes, all that. And so I began to... Uh, I, I, I gained a control, deep control of the physiology. I could go, you know, a, a night long out in shorts in winter and feel no pain. No, because I had this control over the autonomic nervous system. I, I didn't know it at that time, but it just felt good and powerful. And then I did all kinds of challenges. So 25 uh, world records later, which I have, you know, these Guinness world records, uh, in the ice, under swimming under the ice, doing Mount Everest in shorts, or run a marathon, or hanging by one finger in midwinter, a, a, a kilometer in the... All kinds of uh, seemingly impossible feats I could. And then I, I crossed with uh, the signs. And they, uh, they had me do experiments wherein they saw, hey, this man is controlling his autonomic nervous system. Mm -hmm. If he is able to do that, uh, to pass this on mm -hmm. to a group of people, mm -hmm. then we are going to change, we have to change the books. Mm -hmm. A lot of us feel our limitation for from past events or traumatic events, more or less, that we lived growing up. Uh, how did you? How were you able to thrive? You know, with that, did you have to do some work? And what do you recommend for us to 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 change these weaknesses into strengths and going within? Exactly. Um, you know, uh, traumatic experiences they uh, they uh, mostly uh, imprint deeply within our psychic uh, reality. And we have no access to it. We have no control. What I do is learning people to control the up till the le uh, autonomic nervous system level, which is normally outside of our will and power. We cannot reach in. We cannot manipulate. We cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. So I bring people to this level. And if they are brought by the, uh, to this level, which we have been proving scientifically now, then, uh, then your abilities to get into your psychic uh, uh, reality, your psychic body, is far deeper. So you are able to work on your whatever your trauma is. So you mean you're able to, how, how does it look like? I mean, do, do you actually go inside and you're able to see the cells, you're able to see the traumas, you're able to change the story? I mean, what is it? It's uh, you know it's a uh, it's like um, uh, I had this uh, research lately protocol scientific protocol with the doctors etc. And in four days, people without any experience in the cold, four days later, they were standing all of them in shorts by minus ten degrees Celsius at the foot of a mountain in shorts, 
And then hours they climbed a mountain in shorts, in freezing temperatures, and the temperature was decreasing. So at the top, it was minus 27. And they were still not only standing in the shorts, they were dancing the Harlem Shake. Because they felt just great. And the, those people had no experience whatsoever in the cold before. Mm -hmm. Just in four days, they were... Uh, they awakened their natural ability to withstand cold, which uh, uh, the physiology, human physiology, is capable of doing these things. Now, that means you go deeper than normally uh, was considered to be uh, possible. Now we have proven this uh, scientifically. By the way, on the top, when they danced the Harlem Shakers, after being hours in the cold in shorts, they had a good time. The doctors who were present, they were dressed. It's protocol, controlled. They were suffering from cold. You understand? Mm -hmm, with huge uh, coats, yeah. Yes. So, uh, I've told them about this, too. <laughs> yeah, no, we are, um, uh, it's all on film. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, uh, now it's known, uh, sort of. Yeah? We uh, still got the film and everything. And we were uh, 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 on some serious TV talking about uh, this scientifically proven, uh, 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 scientific proof about the autonomic nervous system in a couple of days uh, after instruction, then enabling people to withstand the reaction of uh, a bacteria yeah. afterward. So if, they, if, if you bring people to such a level of control, then that same level is interconnected with the psychic body. Yeah. Could you describe a little bit the process so we get how you, 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 you how it flows kind of briefly? Because yeah. right now, when we hear it from the outside, it sounds oh. amazing and we would love to witness yeah. it, but it's very, it's like, how is that possible? It seems so impossible that our mind can't barely grasp it, you know? Yeah, it, it, and it is amazing what people can do, but you only need to want it. Uh, so that's the first thing you yeah. want it I, uh, if you want it it's yeah. your choice yeah. your choice is uh, to be able actually to maintain yourself healthy strong and happy mm. huh? and if things happen then uh, uh, anybody is able to regain that control mm. that's number one that's the clarity then number two what do you use what, are you, what should you learn? What should you awaken to get to the ability to have this control in, internally about, uh, with the hormones? Because being happy, it means melatonin, mm -hmm. serotonin, uh, dimethyltryptamine, all these hormones. Are you able to control that? Yes, you are. And how we bring about this control by breathing and will, mindset. Mindset we change and we say it is commitment. Believe you are able, just believe. Believe is a neurotransmitters, mm -hmm. clear messages to your, uh, to, your, to, to your body. No doubts. And no doubt that we have all the natural ability to maintain happy, strong and healthy. And the rest, I think, is a lie. The rest is, is, is no good for us. I mean, what's a lie? Uh, uh, whatever makes you unhappy is uh, is no good for you. Mm. That's the, a, a lie is something which is uh, is actually not coinciding with your internally eternal uh, happiness. Whatever doesn't feel right. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I think it's logic. Yeah. Uh, I think nature made us to be, you know, feel good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, feel good. Feel strong. And have a, 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 a far a, a, a have enough energy all, all all the time. That's the way nature builds us. We are alienated from this nature. Mm -hmm. So what I do is just take this alienation mm -hmm. away mm -hmm. with some techniques. Mm -hmm. So meditation I, is part of those techniques. Fire meditation. Me meditation is a poised mind, which is in in control of the body. So I bring about this connection with the body back on. So then uh, the, the, the mind gets sufficient blood flow, gets the right hormones, and you feel good. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And uh, we use the mirror of nature 
to show mm -hmm. that even in the most extreme conditions, you are a, a, a able to control yourself and feel even better than normally. Is there a point of not coming back, though, for example, a person that have cancer or AIDS or something that even with these techniques won't be able to, 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 to totally heal? Because I guess you're saying we can heal ourselves, right? Of course, we can heal ourselves. We are made like this. But um, uh, I'm into science. I got a, a lot of case studies uh, uh, doing where we... All on your website, huh? All, all, all are on the website. And, uh, but uh, as we are uh, the first group in the world, scientifically, to show that we are able to tap in uh, to our system and e enabling us to control the autonomic nervous system just in a couple of days, that related to the immune system means a huge consequences. But... And uh, now, uh, in, the, in the case of uh, many diseases, we want to do um, research. And before research is done, I'm not going to say, we can heal it all, we can do this, we can do that. That's like yelling and enabling the, the industries who are opposed to uh, uh, natural methods to say, yeah, he's crazy, he, uh, he shouldn't be there. Uh, uh, I mean, we all do it scientifically. But I, I can assure you that this method, scientifically already proven, is able to go very, very deep. From there, it's your own commitment, which will enable uh, you to, to be a lot better than you are right now, because you think uh, uh, it's not possible, mm. this, uh, no. Just give a clear message to yourself and begin to heal, mm. because the rest is no good. Don't be, uh, don't doubt. Go clearly within. And it happens because naturally we are made to be happy, strong and healthy. Mm. The, the, the brain seems to give or the mind seems to be always analyzing and rationalizing and giving even negative thoughts. And we seem to be even picking up from other people. And, and it's just, it seems hard what you're saying. It seems <laughs> to hard. To be clear and no doubt and go down. Yes, uh, we lose a lot of hope and get to, get to be powerless uh, uh, against our diseases and the pictures they all uh, uh, drawn up by the doctors. They say this is possible, this. Uh, we are just proved otherwise. We pro proved uh, uh, contradictory up till now that we were not able to uh, influence deeply into the autonomic nervous system. We just proved completely otherwise. So they have to rewrite the books. But normally, if you are too much in your mind, you will be influenced by common thought. And common thought says cancer is normal, all the diseases is normal, that you are happy or not happy, yeah, uh, it's up to you uh, what you do, uh, we don't know, psychiatrists, uh, uh, hospitals, pharmacy, uh, pharmaceutical industries, etc. It's all normal. And I say, no, we, uh, uh, what is normal is to be healthy, happy and strong mm -hmm. and we got the tools to do that mm -hmm. but we uh, uh, as humans as cultural beings we alienate it from this inner nature and we're not stimulating it anymore mm -hmm. and that's why it's not working so uh, well anymore and these techniques we uh, we uh, we developed uh, as scientifically proven, they proved themselves to be able to go just in a couple of days into the autonomic nervous system. So awaken our internal depth, uh, our power. Is that because a lot of people speak of awakening, so that's for you what it is? Yes, it is not training, because it's already there. It's just opening up. But uh, don't take it too abstract. Mm -hmm awakening it, it's already that we just have to recommit with our heart mm. a commitment is something is a, a, a clear neurotransmitters like a clear message to the body you are not doubting if you doubt you the power of your heart or your commitment is like distributed uh, so many messages mm -hmm. body gets confused mm -hmm. one message and consequently going into it you know you, you follow this then uh, the body will listen. 
I've interviewed somebody, it reminds me of an interview in Las Vegas that lost a lot of pounds by just uh, asking the principles in his body to trash those extra pounds that he no longer needed and the body did. Do you believe in that? Like even weight-wise, we could uh, rebalance ourselves and direct our body a little better? <laughs> even, even stronger. We were um, into new research coming up and uh, therein we will show just by the power of the mind, that means commitment, and bre uh, breathing, just deep breathing, uh, will bring about uh, 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 and show scientifically by results, blood results and monitoring, you see it all happening, that uh, enabling the persons who are doing it uh, to go into the autonomic uh, nervous system. And uh, uh, once again, they will be injected with a, uh, a bacteria, and the toxemia, and they will show that they will control the the the, the reaction of the uh, endotoxemia in the blood, in the uh, in the immune system, or, uh, or the immune system will overreact. They will be able and show scientifically that they are controlling it. Yeah. So that that is by commitment and yeah. pa or the power of the mind. So the, the power of the mind is no longer here. It's the connection between the heart and the brain. The brain without, it's like a calculator. Mm. It's like a computer. But the, the person is not there. The person is in the heart. And we sh are showing this scientifically. So if they are able to do that, and say in one day, uh, 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 and then showing, in, uh, influencing, deeply into the autonomic nervous system. I mean, uh, th th that's great news. I mean, it was never been shown that way. Mm -hmm. And that's the power of the mind. So what is what is what you want? Uh, uh, do you really want to tap in deeply into your own uh, system, uh, your own physiology, your body, your heart, and make yourself uh, uh, maintain in happiness, healthiness, and strength? Then that's possible. We say yes, don't we? I mean, yes. Yes! That, that, that's us. That's us. So, uh, the, uh, the rest, I think, is a lie. Uh -huh. People are, you know, there's a system. But, but the system should serve us. It's beautiful to have this microphone. It's beautiful to have television uh, and monitoring and iPads and iPods. You see, okay, it looks like Harry Potter, you know. You, you see... And it's still moving, and you just scroll up, and it, it, there's a movie you're going on. I mean, it's great. It's a GPS. Any anything is possible with a iPod almost. But are we able to uh, to create happiness, healthiness, and strength in our bodies and minds? That's real control. So the system we are no longer should we be uh, serving is uh, just you know. Uh, uh, with, uh, just like a sheep mm. <coughs> following the system. No, sh system should follow us. The, we, we created it, the system. Now the system should serve happiness, health, and uh, uh, strength mm. for anybody. And that makes a strong society. Genetically, it will, you know, outgrow all these genetic uh, differences and, and, and all that. Just good energy. When, when we speak of the power of the heart, what, what do you have to say about it? Just, yeah, uh, believe, believe, which is neurotransmitters, clear message to the, and, and make it happen, uh, relate to the heart, commitment, that this is a, there, there is no more beautiful place than the earth in all the universe. So uh, we, uh, we are living in the best spot ever. Of the whole thing, we are living here. So, in the Bible, it says we are made by the appearance of God, and uh, I think we are all living in this divine energy, which is here. There is a. I know some astronauts. You know what they say? They say you go up there. Everybody thinks, "Wow, great astronaut!" This and blah blah, boom boom, and uh, a, lo a lot of status. And the one day are up there, it's like cold is lifeless it's like there is no emotion and then you look down you see the earth so vulnerable 
It's the most beautiful spot ever. Do you believe we're s spiritual beings having a human experience? Or human beings having a spiritual... Yes, exactly. And we have to awaken that we are living at the best uh, spot uh, in the universe and m make this a beautiful place by loving each other and living in harmony with uh, each other, which is no longer something abstract or sectarian. Uh, no, it's a, sort of a source of a happiness, health and strength. Mm -hmm. The rest is just obstructing the body. Yes. is a lie. Last thing, uh, Wim, what would you like to say that is important that we haven't mentioned throughout this interview that you think is important to get through or to, to, to say here? That we are going to prove this all scientifically. So the heart is the best place. I love you guys. And that should be normal every day. You like you, you wake up and you, you love it all. You, you think it's a wonder, like a child, you know. If, uh, we, we closed up. We got to open up again and see how beautiful all, all this. So just so short, this life. Just make it happen. When we are going to make it happen, I ask for your help. And think on and believe the heart is there. I love you. Love me. <laughs> big, big kisses. Thank you so much for this delicious interview. That was juicy. Oh, my God. Much, much love, my delicious co-creators. Check Wim's site, and you have many, many things going on. There's so many different interviews, videos about him on YouTube. There's, all of it is out there. Much, much love to you. Big kisses. If you like this video, please put a little like and share it with all your friends. Big, big kisses. We love you. Big kiss from Amsterdam. Bye.